the mission is to make uh, autonomous ships a, a commercial reality. Uh, when we originally set out uh, to do that, we thought that it would happen a bit later, uh, 2025-ish. Uh, now we see that the market disruption is actually happening uh, much faster. And we need to take into account many uh, activities. So we start from the intelligent awareness, basically giving the eyes uh, to the vessel. We are also working on connectivity solutions, so transforming that uh, the data from ships to shore. Uh, we're building remote operation centers, uh, so basically the infrastructure that you need in order to operate uh, vessels from shoreside and monitor them. And then we are developing autonomous systems, uh, starting from navigation systems, but also then later on moving into machinery systems. So basically covering the whole whole vessel uh, that will be made uh, autonomous one by one. We're looking to basically automate the data flow from, from sensor, sensoring to data warehousing to annotation and, and then to uh, machine learning models and training the models. And we're looking to automate that data flow and, and really Google is, is the best uh, uh, partner for that. Autonomous ships will affect uh, basically safety, uh, reliability and uh, efficiency. Those are the three main drivers, safety, reliability and efficiency. That is the basically driving, uh, driving the whole development. Uh, on safety side, you will have a lot of accidents that are happening today are, are, are happening for the crew on board the vessels. And now we can uh, save a lot of uh, accidents from happening when we are actually moving the, the work to shore side or, or then making uh, that work more, more automated in the future. So that is one thing. And of course, uh, reliability uh, comes that there's a lot of breakdowns uh, today. The, the systems on board the vessels are not reliable, so they have to do a lot of maintenance uh, while in operation today. In the future, when, when the systems are more autonomous, uh, they also need to be more reliable. So there, there isn't so much need for the kind of maintenance work that you have on board the vessels today. And then on the efficiency side, you can of course now have the same team of experts uh, sitting in a, uh, in a good office environment supporting uh, multiple ships or tens of ships instead of having technical expertise in, in each of the ships. So the work is, is the same but now more, uh, more efficient. We can already use a lot of uh, solutions that have been created for other industries in the machine learning uh, space and we can now apply them uh, to change uh, the shipping world as well. There's a lot of things we haven't done yet, so we need to, for example, create the, now the machine learning models and train them for, for marine use. Uh, we need to, to, to basically gather the data so that we can, we can train the models also, for example, in nighttime uh, and, and, so, and, and different uh, weather conditions uh, and, and different viewing angles. Uh, that, that kind of data set we need to create so we can have the best models uh, out there. Um, in, in, uh, in ships you have a wider area to cover. Uh, we're using uh, LiDAR, we're using radar, HD cameras. They have to cover so much wide area because there can be a very unpredicted movements of, of a lot of vessels. That requires a high computing power on board the vessel. Um, and uh, the good thing is that they have a bit more time uh, to do the analysis, for, for example, compared to cars. Some of the Google Cloud technologies we're using include, for example, TensorFlow processing unit that we can have on, on board the vessels. You have uh, uh, data jobs, uh, you have uh, Hypertune, and, and then data labs. Those are the uh, tools that have uh, and solutions that have um, immediate uh, benefit for, for the autonomous ships. Key takeaway is basically speed and, and flexibility to bring this to the market fast. So don't try to do too many things uh, in-house. Uh, partner, uh, use open platforms and collaboration uh, to drive this innovation fast.